Good morning. My name is Stuart Adams and I'm Head Greenkeeper Stroke Course Manager at Cardigan Golf Club. This short presentation is going to be an insight to my continual professional development. Through this presentation I would like to uh, take on five small points uh, of my development. One is stepping up to become a leader. Two is encouraging others uh, through CPD. Three is to encourage ownership, flexibility within the job, etc. Four is improving presentation skills and five is improving knowledge through CPD. Let me first begin with stepping up to become a leader. I've been within this role since October 2017 and uh, before I started I asked myself a few simple questions. What sort of boss was I going to be? Um, more so, what sort of boss uh, would I like? I think the standout thing for me was entering it with um, a lack of ego and um, a, a basis of a complete respect toward the team environment. It needed to be full of encouragement, uh, not a dictatorship, and definitely somebody that would listen to his team. I started the first three months of not really changing a lot, but just monitoring the job as it stood. Um, the worst thing you could possibly do is go in and change everything um, that's already working. It's simply look for the positives and look for what could be changed for the better of the course, not what needs to be changed for a better of an ego. As a quite laid back kind of guy, I, I, I don't believe in shouting, I believe in encouragement and uh, I try to uh, benefit from a slight more impairment than what I'm used to. I think I can't underline strong enough that um, we're at work the majority of our, our, our lives and I think if we could create a happy, uh, respectful, fair environment and people are happy to come to work, then product productivity uh, is increased and uh, people genuinely do try to do their best. <clears throat> I also believe though that um, respect and fairness swings both ways. Uh, as soon as you've got the boys on board and we feel like a team, I think that there is a, a, a clear boundaries that need to be set out that if uh, the company, the club, myself are going to be fair with the employees, then the employees need to be fair, uh, vice versa. As a father of four, I do believe that uh, the people skills crossed over from fatherhood into uh, greenkeeping is, is paramount. It's a case of trying to nurture, trying to encourage, trying to get the best and wanting the best for other people. Okay, this brings me on to my second point of encouraging others through CPD, continual professional development. Um, I do, do believe that the most important thing of any golf course is the, the highly skilled staff. We can have the best machinery in the sheds, the best products in the sheds, but without the skilled staff, to provide the, the excellent service and the quality playing surfaces, it all falls down. I think also most undervalued is the fact of seeing other people succeed allows uh, the, the position of a head greenkeeper to delegate more. I think the delegation skills is something that I have lacked in the past and I've really reaped the benefits of trying to encourage the team to develop. The more that they do to a professional standard, uh, the more it raises the team standard. There are things that my team has come to me and said that we want certain things cut this way, certain things uh, shaped that way because it will improve the golf that we've taken on board. So it's not only uh, me personally that's raising the standard or the, the, the education, it's the passion. Now I do believe that uh, a greenkeeper, uh, his main tool in his box is definitely passion. If, if you uh, are passionate about what you do, um, you're encouraged to what you do, uh, you're given ownership to what you do. I think it's uh, the three ingredients that really, really excels a good quality skilled greenkeeper. Let me just refer back to CPD. Um, it's uh, a path that I chose uh, from a very young uh, age within greenkeeping. And sh uh, by sure, it's definitely the long route, but it, I feel as though it's worked for me. That way I have no issue of encouraging CPD within my team. What is also fun with CPD is there are plenty of avenues to actually uh, explore. It's not only just the experience and the qualifications of the greenkeeper teaching, there's college routes, there's networking, 
there's even social media. So there's many forms of taking on board what other people are doing, understanding the location of our course, and then bringing those certain uh, talents and skills within Cardigan Golf Club. Uh, I cannot personally speak highly enough of uh, CPD. This brings me swiftly on to uh, my third point of ownership within the job. Uh, not only the actual job itself uh, as the operation, but the actual managing of your job. Uh, we've introduced flexi time over at Cardigan Golf Club and we feel that uh, a situation where somebody is 5-10 minutes late, that they stay on 5-10 minutes. Um, the, the, the very fact that you're building up time and you're accruing time, if you work overtime, then it works back to when you want time off. I was dead set against flexi time when I first uh, was introduced to it, but uh, over the last two years, I could see the real benefits from both uh, parties, both from the club and both from the employee. Uh, if there's such a thing as a, a family issue or whether somebody needs time off or a holiday, then the club has to be flexible too. If we're working weekends and we're working bank holidays um, and we're working all in sociable hours, and these guys are building up these extra hours, when they want time off, they should be allowed. I've also felt that introducing ownership within the job um, lifts the standards of we've, as we've spoken about um, with the CPD. I think the very attribute uh, of an employee that is missed the most is pride. When somebody t takes on a project or when they're doing cutting a green or raking a bunker, if that certain pride isn't within that job as, alongside the passion, then the job just gets done as a routine. If it's done as pride, then it's a showpiece and it becomes an extension of who you are. And I genuinely feel that the, the, the team development that we have going on at Cardigan Golf Club has introduced passion and pride. I think the very essence of ownership comes from uh, my attributes to be able to listen. I think that sometimes that it isn't about just being a leader and dictating what uh, um, jobs are going to be done for the day. It's actually listening to the team. That way you have four or five sets of eyes out on the golf course at any one time. If they can return and they can say that there's a part of the course that needs improving, they come and they're own, they create ownership for the golf course. And all this said and done with ownership, there still needs to be a slight uh, set of structure, a routine set in place where everybody knows what they're doing, where they are. Um, there needs to be uh, an understanding of a set standard that it doesn't slip below. And there also needs to just genuinely be the understanding of golf. One massive uh, part that, again, intends to get missed is not only the communication from a head greenkeeper to the paying customer, but the communication from the green staff to the customer. Um, this is where the ownership and, uh, and the belief of what we're actually doing and the understanding of what we're doing through ownership passes through communication to the golfer. This leads me on to point four, improve skill presentation. Okay, improving these presentation skills isn't something that comes natural to every greenkeeper. Quite often, the, the greenkeeping fraternity is out on the golf course for a, a very large amount of time, either twos or threes, or often on their own. So when you're actually presenting, it's a skill that you're asking outside the comfort uh, box. In 2016, I was fortunate enough to be picked for the FTMI class, and uh, I felt as though this was the turning point in my career. It enabled me to talk uh, the language of the committee, and then also turn the language of committee into the language of the employee. Um, this also gave me the encouragement to be able to stand and voice uh, the technical side, uh, and also voice over the passion that I have and the pride that I hold within the, within the greenkeeper. The HNC and the HND has done wonders for um, my ability to be able to present um, and my next stage hopefully at some point will be uh, a presentation at Harrogate and um, maybe my road to see through the CPD to the head greenkeeper status. Okay the final point of um, my five points now comes to a close is improving knowledge. I think that everything based around greenkeeping is knowledge. The people skills are massively important. Um, the development and the, and the language and everything that I've spoke about in the four previous points. But the actual technical knowledge 
is absolutely paramount whether you uh, succeed or fail. I must commend Bigger with uh, their CPD program. Uh, it's something that I bought into quite early on in the stage and fortunately I've just passed my second milestone uh, as we speak. I will continue to uh, develop through the CPD uh, and uh, it's a, a process that I feel that because I've started the HNC five years ago and we're looking at wrapping up the HND now uh, come March 2020, it's something that you get into a mindset of learning um, and within the greenkeeping uh, industry I feel as though you never stop learning. You might have a, a, a different weather adverse, you might have a, a staff shortage, a machine go down. There, there is always a trial within every day of greenkeeping. Yet, although it is trialing, it definitely is a part that keeps me drawn to, to the, the very industry that, uh, that I've been involved with for 30 years. I've also felt that networking is a massive, massive step in the right direction as well as being involved with the, the Bernard's delegation trip in 2018. Uh, I've made a, a good set of friends for life. Uh, social networking has allowed me to make friends right across the UK and ask for help and, and advice uh, when it's available. The regionals and the, the, the nationals through bigger, uh, the seminars that they uh, develop and that they put out there to the Greek keepers also brings the, the local greenkeeper together and uh, I've been in a process of building up a WhatsApp page uh, for the Welsh greenkeepers so we could speak independently at any time. Uh, we're, we're in the process of putting in best part of 30 members at the moment and I would like to see this develop um, probably up to the 100 if we could. So as a conclusion, the journey has been absolutely amazing for the last six years, let alone the last 30 years. I just think that the education side of things have really boosted it since the HNC. Um, the networking, the, the technical side and the transfer, transferring the skills that I've learned in the last six years along the way onto the golf courses that I've worked. Um, it's also enabled me to um, mentor a few lads on the way, but on the same respect, they've taught me as much as whatever I could possibly t teach those. I think at this point I can conclude that um, greenkeeping has done as much for me through life as much as what I feel as though I've done for greenkeeping. Um, thank you for listening and I hope that uh, this small presentation has been beneficial for yourselves as much as, as what it has been for me. Thank you.